as everybody seems to call it now. Friday, I'm back from work. I'm due to go off for my run with Rachel from Stitched Up very shortly, but I thought before I went, I might try and get today's flag sewn so that I, I can start my vlog with my flag. But you might see just over there in the distance, I'm going there, that little white blob there, that is my other sewing machine. And I thought, why am I worried about taking embroidery units off and putting embroidery units on when I have two sewing machines? First of all, I'm going to tell you what I'm wearing. I am wearing a, and you'll see me walking around in it. It's broken, it needs new fastenings. It is a very old 1996, far too big for me, Norwegian jump up with a Sederstel design and it is made from Piergint yarn from Sandnes in Norway. Now I have just bought some more Piergint yarn and I'll show it you probably on another vlog fairly soon once I've got my knitting going. I do like to knit in the winter, I think it's quite common that those of us that work with fabric and thread we just like any kind of fibre sometimes and we just like to work with fibre. Um, at the moment I'm still doing my little bit of hand embroidery which I'm hoping to do some more of that tonight and that is actually really quite nice. I have discovered it's hurting one of my eyes so I'll have to be very careful and make sure I've got lots of light. So um, just before I put you on to time lapse as I set myself going I haven't decided which design to use yet. Thought it was time for a coffee and to open the advent calendar for today. Here it is. And number four is hiding. Here it is. I'm not very good at opening advent calendars. Let's see what we've got this time. Oh, I might like this one. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I like this one. So when the um, sewing machine is making its... I've got the embroidery unit going. I'm going to have this coffee. And that will wake me up ready to go running with Rachel. And so I'm going to see if I can pull you forward as I have a go at picking my design. Now, here we go, let's push you down that way. And um, at this point, I might split the camera and go on to time-lapse if, or I might cut it out, I haven't decided yet. So I am in my uh, memory stick. I've got a memory stick in the side of my um, sewing machine, here it is. The machine came with that, and I'm really quite impressed because it's actually got micro USB at this side, so that when I put it in my Mac, I can go straight into it. Um, I have got a, a, an adapter as well, so here we go. So I'm going to go through it and decide which one I'm going to do today. And I fancy something quite fancy. Do you know, actually, I really like this one here with the stars. Let me can see it. Let me just try and zoom you in. It's this one here with the stars. I think I might do that one today. So let's pull it up. Oh yes, I like that. I do like that. Just needs to be a tiny bit bigger. So I'm going to go into the information and I'm going to make it bigger. And I'm looking for the height here, the overall size of the design. Um, and I'm looking for the height being uh, 10 centimeters because all the others are 10 centimeters. I'm actually going to move that slightly too wide. I might make that a bit smaller just to bring the width back under. Yeah, I think that just needs to be a little bit smaller in order to keep the density and the, the clarity of it. So, I know full well that I've got the correct plate in, I've got the correct needle in. Um, you can see my screen there. Um, so I'm quite happy with that. So it's, I'm sorry I'm going to lean across, you've got some threads here ready to go. So let's see, as I said, um, I don't know if I've mentioned this, I know that some of the machines do actually do a colour chart. Their, their screens are, col are, are also colour, but you know, if you were doing flowers or something, it actually shows the colour that they recommend. But Nina actually don't, they just have got standard colours and it makes you think a little bit more. It can be a bit creative. You can always refer back to your picture that you got it from if you've kept it online. Um, so I've got to decide what I'm going to do with this. So let's have a little look. I, I've only got three threads out here now, but I've actually got a whole range that I could use. So let's just press the go button.
thought I'd bring you out with me. Sat in the car outside Rachel's, um, wondering whether with this cold drizzle I really do want to run. I'm going to be quiet. I don't think you can see them. They know exactly. Maggie? Maggie? Where are you? You're at Rachel's. So they know they're at Rachel's. Girls, you going to put your paws up? Nope, they're not. Oh, and my car light's gone off, so I've gone all dark. So, here I am, back from my run with Rachel. And um, I'm going to confess, I got all this going. I was doing really well before I went out. And my little sewing machine decided to have a little hissy fit. It's working now. I literally stripped it down, cleaned it, completely re-threaded it. I even checked the instruction manual and it's working. So here we go. Had the most delightful run. Um, talked about our naughty purchases that we'd made and we both had delivered today. Looking forward to seeing her video later. It's just a shame we can't go into each other's houses to um, to look at them. But uh, we can't and uh, that is life and that is the way it is at the moment and we just have to get on with it whether we like it or not. So here we go, just cutting it out ready. And then I thought I might just go into the living room, try and turn them through very quickly. Uh, I'll come back here later. It actually doesn't matter because tomorrow I'm going out for the day. I shall take you with me. I'm actually going to um, Nottingham. I'm just going over. I can go because it's a business um, thing that I'm going to. I'm just going to show you the front of this little sewing machine. Here it is. Can you see? It's the Bonina Cotton and Steel. It's absolutely dinky. It's it's virtually one up from the bottom of the Bonina range, but it is an absolute little gem. The table there. You can't only see part of me in my lovely old Norwegian jumper. Um, my, fr my Norwegian friend translated the pattern for me 24 years later. You can just get them on the internet. There you go. Oh, I did say, um, say earlier that I might, I don't know if I mentioned it. I don't know if I mentioned it and then cut that bit out, but um, these Norwegian patterns, I'm gonna put down uh, where you can get knitting patterns that are Scandinavian based. If you've not come across it, it's called Drops Designs. And it, I think I'm pretty certain it is a Norwegian company. But Drops Designs, um, they do uh, Scandinavian patterns and you can have them in English or American English, French, whatever language you want. And they do do some really nice traditional ones. Uh, my Norwegian friend told me all about this. Um, these patterns. Um, I've known Ingeborg for rather a long time, 40 something plus years. We were old fashioned pen friends as we had pen friends back then in the 70s and 80s. Um, when did you stop being a pen friend and start to be a friend who just happens to live in Oslo? So, and we're really fortunate that our partners got on really well together. And um, yeah, she's been a really good support since losing David. So, I shall roll the edges and give them a jolly good iron but i've put my point turn right there i've just i've actually got these little boxes from um ikea they're meant to hook on the side of the trolley but um look i've got it hooked on the pegboard and here and the dogs can't get them so i've got things in the top one little just little bits and pieces there you go. That's well. That's what's happening today. Something different might happen next week. Um, so two more flags to go on. Um, let's put. There we go. This one first. Oops. doing this very efficiently I should I'm going to get my pins out because it oh here they are they are here anyway let's bring you back over a bit closer to the sewing machine you can see what I'm doing reel of bunting the uh, bias tape coming here and uh, that can go over there um, 
and let's get the first one in and then the second one and then we've got two more flags in today so here we go hold on a minute this one here like that And then today, tomorrow, I'm taking Maggie down to Nottinghamshire because I'm allowed to. <coughs> She's got canine massage tomorrow. Poppy and I will go for a nice little walk in Clumber Park. And then it'll be back home and hopefully I'm going to get myself a Christmas tree. Four flags. Numbers one, two, three and for i am so liking it i know you guys have been so complimentary but boy it's gonna look wonderful i'm so pleased i'm really pleased so to the end of vlogmas day four and uh, i am now gonna go away and i'm going to edit today's vlog it's been quite exciting i'm really really pleased with the way this bunting's coming along and I do hope you're enjoying what I'm saying about my sewing machine. Had a word with Rachel tonight. She's um, in on the collaboration for how embroidery machines work. Anyhow, I hope you have a lovely Vlogmas Day 4, wherever you are. And I will see you again tomorrow on the 5th of December. And take care and stay safe. Remember, hands, face, space. See you later. Bye-bye.